What's going on there, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of 12 Browns TV. Um, today, I'm going to talk to you guys about some quotes that was said at the grand arrival of Mayweather and Pacquiao uh, in Las Vegas. As you guys know, we are four days away from the mega fight. Finally, we're that close. I remember when it was about five, six years ago when they first started talking about this fight and initiating it and negotiating it. Didn't happen. Year after that, talked about it. Every time both Mayweather and um, uh, Pacquiao fought, every post-fight interview, the Mayweather versus Pacquiao fight was always asked and both um, fighters, uh, Mayweather and Pacquiao, had always commented that um, pretty much that it'll take time, but it'll happen eventually. And we're here now. We're four days away from it. Uh, you guys don't forget that the weigh-in is the day before, so that'll be Friday. So three days away from weigh-in, four days away from the actual fight. Very, very exciting. Lots, lots of <clears throat> news um, that is coming out um, as we get closer to the fight. Um, many, many people are talking about it. Many people are probably already arrived to Las Vegas, uh, especially for the grand arrivals of the two of the best of the best, right? Anyway, let's start off with Floyd Mayweather Jr. and some things that he said at the grand arrival. From Floyd Money Mayweather Jr., I don't have anything negative to say about Manny Pacquiao or Freddie Roach. People from different teams can say things. But when it comes down to it, it comes down to the two fighters. I think we can win a decision. I always trust the commission, the judges, and the officials. Our focus is not just on looking for a knockout, but throwing a lot of punches in case it comes to a decision. Now hold up now. Whatever he just said there, there's more to it than that. That's just my opinion though. It seems to me that Floyd Mother Jr. Okay, let's start off with, with the first paragraph. It seems to me that Floyd Mother Jr. is... It's not in a mood at the moment of talking bad because that's what he's known for. I mean, he still does, not as much as before. My impression of that is somebody is a little nervous, a little nervous to be humiliated if he did lose. Anyway, Okay, let me back up a little bit. A lot of you guys know this, and a lot of you guys follow Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Pacquiao, right? This is a very unusual way of talking from Floyd Mayweather Jr. Very unusual start, if you will, before the fight. Usually, this is not the words that we hear from Mr. Mayweather, right? Not even close. Very different. Anyway, the second paragraph that is very important to me, I thought, and I read this, I thought I wouldn't, you know, I, I was at work when I read this, and I wanted to already upload a video right away. I mean, I couldn't wait to get home. Why? Let me repeat it. I think we can win a decision. I always trust the commission, the judges, and the officials. Our focus is not just on looking for a knockout, but throwing a lot of punches in case it comes to a decision. I'll give you a few seconds to think about that. Okay. When he said that, it seems to me that he's, he's, he's already hinting giving a hint to the damn judges I don't know what's that all about 
He has nothing to worry about. He is Las Vegas cash cow. He mentioned the commission, the judges, and the officials. And he also mentioned the word decision. Contrary to popular belief, a lot of people and some of you guys think that Mayweather is going to come blazing. Trying to knock out Manny Pacquiao. No. And I repeatedly said this. To a few you, few you guys, few of my subscribers, Mayweather is not going to change. His style has always been defensive. He always runs. He always jabs. And he sets traps for his opponent to make the mistake and throw that big shot, that big right hand. And that's how he scored. He's not going to, but he's not about to change it. It has been working for him 47 fights. It has been working for him for almost 19 years, 20 years. Not about to change. He may. And I emphasize, he may throw a little bit more punches than usual. But as far as running around and throwing that jab and setting up traps, it's not going to change. Now, this time frame, especially this biggest fight of him and Manny Pacquiao in their career, he's not going to risk going go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Manny Pacquiao. He's not going to do that. He's never mentioned anything toe-to-toe -to -toe in none of his freaking interviews. From the, from the time this contract was talked about and signed, January all the way through now, he didn't say nothing nowhere near toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Now, he may surprise us, surprise few of us, about what he's going to do. He may. But I, I highly, highly doubt it. Mayweather would be the same as he always was. Anyway, I believe this fight, Mayweather is looking forward or leaning against decision. He wants to win by decision. He Look at this. He said this. Come on, analyze a little bit. Our focus is not just on looking for a knockout, but throwing a lot of punches in case it comes to a decision. He means more jabs, just in case it comes to a decision. If you guys know, Mayweather's always been controlled, right? A lot of guys argue with me on YouTube. A lot of guys comment me down below that Mayweather is going to be in charge of the fight. He's always been, and he's always been the one that... that adjust to every opponent, right? Maybe that's not about to change that. He's going to take control of the fight. He wants the fight to go decision. He's not going to risk it. And I say again, he's not going to risk toe-to-toe -to -toe with Manny Pacquiao and risk that knockout. Manny Pacquiao has really, really, to be honest, has nothing to lose. He has lost five times before with a brutal knockout. He doesn't have anything to lose, nothing whatsoever. He's gonna go blazing to Mayweather like he always does to any opponent, regardless of knowing the risk of it that he might get knocked out or he might get counterpunched. That's it. Anyway, let's move on. <clears throat> Says, I have not changed in my body in the last five years. Yes, that's true, and he's not about to change now. I think the changes are that I have more experience now. Better strategy and smarter movement. The speed and power has not changed. That's what he said. Speed and power. Speed of running around and in power, his jabs and his traps that he sets up before he throws that big right hand. He did that to Canelo a lot when they fought. Um, anyway... Pacquiao, thank you all to the media here. You're part of what we accomplished in boxing. Without you, who would know us? Without, without you, who, who knows boxing? You have helped boxing, and I thank you so much for the support. This is one of the most important fights of my boxing legacy. I want to make this fight a good result for my legacy. I want to win. That is my goal. I believe this is the right time for us to be fighting. More people are informed for this fight than ever before. People who aren't even boxing fans are interested in this, in this fight. 
When I, when I started fighting in America in 2001, no one knew who I was. Now everyone knows Manny Pacquiao. A lot has changed since 2001. I am not only working for myself, but I work to help other people and to be an inspiration. I am very grateful for the overwhelming support of the fans for this fight. And then uh, Leonard LRB, CEO of Mayweather Promotions, the fat, goopy, uh, goofy uh, guy that always, I don't know, man. I, I, don't, I don't like LRB. I think he's a snake. I mean, he snoops around. He pays people to snoop around Pacquiao's training camp during, especially during or before the mega fight, the biggest fight in the history of boxing. And you're going to try to be a snake, a snitch, and hire people to spy on Pacquiao while he's training in LA. That's some bogus stuff. That's some cheating stuff already. Don't like it. I don't like Leonard LRB. And plus, he talked like a uneducated person. He talks like a. If you guys didn't know, Mayweather was almost gonna fire this guy last year. He doesn't seem like a regular or an executive. Officer, he, he doesn't seem like the typical type. He dressed like one, but when he talks, a bunch of crap comes out of his mouth. When he before he talks most of the time before Mayweather is introduced on press conferences, it's not strong enough things that he says. You know what I mean? It's not. It's like trying to trying really hard, if you will, when he announced Mayweather. And, you know when he when he does when he does his speech prior to Mayweather coming up to the to the podium. It bogus. I mean, this guy needs to go to school or something. You know, it's just it's not strong enough. He's, to me, he, he seems like a dummy. Um. Anyways, Leonard Ellerby says the turning point of the fight being made was when Floyd Mayweather met Manny Pacquiao and looked him in the eyes and said, "I want to fight you." Are you? Leonard Ellerby said that. That's what Mayweather said to Manny Pacquiao. I want to fight you. Anyway. Bob Arum said, uh, All the fighters I've worked with are different. I must say that I've never worked with a fighter like Manny Pacquiao. Somebody who is intensely dedicated to doing good for people. To making a difference in this country and to making life better for those less fortunate than he is. Manny Pacquiao really is somebody that I admire tremendously for everything he does outside of the ring. And then Freddy Roach says, Floyd's never fought anyone with better speed than he has. I believe we have a better speed. I believe we have better power than he has and we are using that. I don't think Floyd's legs are there anymore and he can't run for 12 rounds because we will catch him on the way. We're ready to go, 12 hard rounds, and that's what we train for. I learned a lot from Floyd's fight with Oscar De La Hoya. Thought he won the first six rounds and then lost track of the strategy. We learned a lot about Floyd set traps and Manny recognizes how he sets the trap. That's what I was talking to you guys about. Floyd Mayweather, you run around, and try to set you up for a trap for that one big shot, right hand shot. And everybody knows that. It's it's obvious. He won't fall into it ever, and Manny knows exactly what to do in every situation. That's from Fred Roach. I think we can win the decision, if that's what Mayweather pretty much want. We can outpoint him, no problem. Manny is definitely ready for this fight. We've had a great strategy. We've actually really worked on this fight together. Manny took me into his room many times to dissect tape on Mayweather and how he fights against certain people. If you guys know, at least Manny Pacquiao and Freddie Roach are honest that, and they reveal and they admit that they do watch Floyd Mayweather's fights and, and learn from him. And um, 
and dissect his 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 fights against other opponents. But Mayweather swears up and down he don't watch opponents matches. Yep, that's another lie, especially for this fight. If he if he's not, what's worse? What's worse? Watching a video of your opponent's fight or having somebody spy on your opponent's training camp? What's worse? Unreal. You answer that. This is the first time he has ever asked me to watch film with him. I like what he showed me on the tape and I think we're, that we're perfect for the fight. From the first day of the fight was announced, I've seen a different attitude in Manny. He has really taken his training to a new level. He is very motivated and I love what I see every day from Manny Pacquiao. That's, those are some of the quotes from the grand arrival of Mayweather and Pacquiao in Las Vegas. Dissect those things that I said a little bit and let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. Very interesting comment though from... I mean, we, we know what LRB is going to say. He's going to say the best thing about Mayweather, even though he doesn't really know how to properly say it. Because this guy looks, he sounds like a dummy when he talks. You know, he's a fat, lazy guy. I'm trying to not swear for you guys. I'm trying to not curse. But sometimes, it's hard. But I try. Nothing new about that from Manny Pacquiao. He always says good things about his people and, you know, nothing nothing new. Um, nothing new about Fatty Roach. He always obviously talked good about his fighter, about Manny Pacquiao. Nothing new there. Um, but the, the most interesting comments from this guy was from freaking Floyd Mayweather Jr. That was the most interesting. I'll read it again to you guys. Just You guys can dissect it if you guys haven't seen it yet. I'm sure you guys can find them on Google and stuff like that, but I'm going to read it to you guys again from Floyd Me with the Junior, okay? I don't have anything negative to say about Manny Pacquiao or Freddie Roach. Really? All the racial comments you made to Manny Pacquiao or all the taunting you did on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, whatever, or social media, all the pictures that you put in collage and, and put together just to taunt the guy and you don't want to talk bad now? Why? You made a t-shirt that made an uproar to the Filipino, Filipino community all over the world. You were wearing a shirt with a Philippine flag behind it and you in front of it. That's an insult. Very, very bad insult, especially to Asian people, especially to the Filipino people, especially to me. And you don't want to talk bad. Why? Because Manny Pacquiao is there? Because there's a lot of fans over there? Because there's a lot of Filipinos over there in Vegas when you were when you were saying this? You're a coward. Floyd Mayweather Jr. is a coward. So is LRB. So is his whole team. They only like to say things when somebody's not around. And I hope Manny Pacquiao comes May 2nd. Make him pay for all those. Manny Pacquiao has not once said any racial things about Mayweather. Not once. Not once. Just lately he started having some kind of a, a response to Mayweather's taunts. Via Instagram, Twitter, and all that stuff. That's it. No, not Instagram, but Twitter. But that's it. It's all about it. Nothing major. But nothing nowhere near racial comments. And um, I'm very, very bad name calling from Floyd Mayweather Jr. to Pacquiao and not only that to the Philippines to the country you guys know that Mayweather once said I don't want to live in the Philippines because it's effed up over there why is every state in America nice where you grew up was nice Rapids Michigan is nice I I wish sometimes Manny Pacquiao has a little bit of of how I think, of how I say things. Because I can talk now. You guys have been following me since last year from my old videos, from my old YouTube channel. You guys know I can say some stuff now. And sometimes Manny Paco doesn't have that. He's not that person, that's not him. And I, and I feel it though, because I'm a Filipino too. 
Manny Pacquiao cannot say those things. He's just too nice. But sometimes you got to stand up for yourself. But Manny Pacquiao, just, he just choose to not to do so. His people say it for him. And I feel it. I feel it when he said, especially when Mayweather on those times when he was really, really saying racial comments to Pacquiao. Bad things. Not only to Pacquiao, he said things to the Filipino community and the Philippines itself. Made a freaking t-shirt face on it. With our flag behind you. Like you're the king of us. You're not. You are not Mr. Floyd Mayweather Jr. You are not nowhere near liked in the Philippines. You will... I hope you don't set a foot in the Philippines. You are not welcome there. I forget what I was at. Um, anyways, I believe Mayweather said that I think we can win a decision. I always trust the commission. Obviously, it's always for you. The judges and the official. Yes. The judges, yes, it was handpicked by the commission. Commission is for you. The, the freaking officials, for example, the referee is picked by Mayweather. Kenny Bayless, that's in his favor. Why don't you put Tony Weeks in there? Or the guy that judged, um, ah, I mean, the refereed. I can't believe what it's called. Ah, I can't remember anyway. Anyways, why pick Kenny Bayless? Why? Why is Manny Pacquiao already had eight drug tests and not once from Mayweather? Why? Why are they cheating Manny Pacquiao on tickets? This is not a lie now. I'm not making this up. This is all over the social media and news. If you guys follow boxing every day, every hour and hour, there's news that comes on. There's, we can't, they can't hide anything. There's nothing you can hide. Because everybody's around them 24-7. Every move they make, every step they take, people are there with cameras, with recorders, with, with everything. The only time these two fighters, Pacquiao and Mayweather, really had t alone time and was they go to bed. That's it. As soon as they step out of their beds, there's cameras. They cannot hide anything. And as Mayweather trying to have this image about being a nice guy, being a non-trash-talking MF doesn't work. It's fake. It's a lie. It's BS. Let you guys think about this. Stay tuned. I'm going to be uh, making more videos about another, another topic that I'm going to talk to you guys about. Till next video, 12 Rounds TV. Please subscribe. Peace.